Hi all. So today we are going to discuss the assessment problem 4.6. Uh, in this problem, we have to find the value of V1 by using the node voltage method. Okay. So it this question also involve uh, a source which is called a current de current dependent voltage source okay the value of this voltage so depends upon the current i phi which is flowing through this 3 ohm resistor so this is uh, basically a very uh, interesting problem in which we can see the selection of a uh, uh, reference node can basically affect the uh, complexity of our problem so uh, let us first draw the simplified version of this uh, circuit so uh, in drawing our circuit here these are the three resistors uh, 2 ohm 3 ohm and 24 ohm here this is the 3 ohm again uh, this is the voltage source here okay uh, this is plus minus 60 volts and similarly here we have another source which is a dependent current voltage source so the polarity of this is basically plus minus uh, and 6 i phi it's the its value and what is the i phi i phi is basically the current which is flowing through 3 ohm okay so now here we have some nodes basically we have four nodes here this these are basically one two three and four these four nodes and the uh, as we can see that any of the node can be selected as a reference node but which node to select as a reference node if we select this one so the voltage will be known here but the other values we have to calculate but if we select this one as our reference node so how would it uh, simplify our problem it will simplify because now here the two sources will be connected in direct connection with this reference node okay so what are those voltage sources the first one is this one and the second one is this one so it means the voltage here and the voltage here will be known the voltage here will be 60 minus 60 volts and the voltage here will be 6 i phi okay so the voltages at these two points will be known and we have to solve for this voltage only then okay so let us consider this one as a reference node and considering this one as v1 this one as v2 and this one as v3 uh, we can write the equation here uh, first of all let us write the uh, known voltages so the first known voltage is basically uh, the v1 so the value of v1 is basically minus 60 volts okay so this is the known voltage and similarly the value of v3 is also known and that is 6 i phi okay uh, similarly we can see here that the value of i phi is basically uh, the current which is flowing from v3 to v2 by the resistor 3 so that's why i can write from node here that the value of i phi is v3 potential difference v3 minus v2 divided by 3 okay so uh, putting the values here putting equation b in a okay when we put equation b in a i will get v3 equal to 6 v3 minus v2 divided by 3 which will ultimately give me 3 into 2 and it will ultimately give me v3 equal to uh, 2v3 minus uh, 2v2 or it will be equal to um, moving this v3 here i will get sorry this is v2 i will get the minus 2v2 plus v3 equal to 0 okay i have simplified it and also rearranged it and i will get 
this equation so let me call this equation as equation c okay so now move towards the uh, node v2 so here we have some currents first current is here second one is here and third one is here let me call it i1 i2 and i3 so according to at node 2 applying kcl i will get i1 plus i2 plus i3 is equal to 0 okay now putting the values here the same values which we uh, used earlier on that would be the potential difference divided by the resistance so it would become v2 minus 0 divided by 2 which will be 2 uh, divided by 2 v2 minus 0 divided by 2 is this the simplified version of this is here okay vect is the value of i2 i2 is basically v2 minus v1 divided by 2 and i know the value of v1 which is basically minus 60 here so i will get here v2 minus minus 60 divided by the value of the resistance which is 24 uh, similarly value here is uh, v2 minus v3 divided by 3 and again i know the value of v3 that is basically uh, the uh, 6 i5 but I am not writing it here because I have to make uh, the equation which will involve v2 and v3 okay so let me write the equation here v2 minus v3 divided by 3 and this should be equal to 0 okay so let me simplify it by using the LCM so here the LCM will be 24 this would become the 12v2 uh, plus v2 plus 60 and uh, plus 8 because 8 will be multiplied with these two terms 8v2 minus 8v3 this is equal to 0 okay so let me move down okay uh, so uh, solving this equation and multiplying both sides by 24 I will get here uh, this term will be cancelled out and the other side will become 0 uh, so adding all the terms which involve v2 I will get here 21 v2 minus 8 v3 and moving this 60 at the other side I will get minus 60 so let me call this equation as the equation d okay now as i have both the equations and uh, let me solve them i have the first equation was uh, this one minus 2v2 plus v3 and the second equation was 21v2 minus 8v3 is equal to minus 60 so in order to solve them and finding the values v2 and v3 um, let us multiply equation c by 8 and then adding the two equations together just like um, 8 multiplied by c and then adding it with equation d i will get what minus 16 v2 plus 8 v3 equal to 0 similarly here it will remain same 21 v2 minus 8 v3 equal to minus 60 okay so adding them together now as stated here okay this one and this one uh, and it is multiplied by this so as stated by them these two terms will be cancelled out and I will, here i will get 8v2 equal to minus 60 and similarly the value of v2 would be equal to minus 12 volt okay so that is the value of the v2 as now we have to find uh, the value of v1 which is here okay so in order to find the value of uh, v1 small v1 we should have the values of the two uh, potentials which are at the ends of this 24 uh, ohm resistor so we know the value of v1 now we have also calculated the value of v2 and we know that the value of small v1 is equal to v2 minus v1 okay in order to find the value of this v1 do we know the value of v2 yes we just calculated it and the value of it is minus 12 
similarly the value of v1 was also calculated and it was minus 60 so writing minus 60 here i will get this one so v1 is equal to minus 12 plus 60 which will ultimately give me the 48 volts which is the answer of this question okay so uh, in this question we have seen how to select the feasible node as a reference node so that our questions can be simplified in solving uh, for the desired values so i think it will clarify your concepts regarding the node voltage methods and the applicability of uh, the uh, dependent voltage sources in it uh, uh, we will solve more questions in uh, questions in our next video till then thank you so much